Hello there, welcome to Genesis Models, my name is Bob Waldron and welcome to another inbox review video. This is going to be of the Airfix's 148 scale North American F51D Mustang. Um, looking like a cool, cool kit. It's around about the £20 mark, give or take a couple of quid. It was new tooled in 2017, so pretty sort of new tool. So let's take a look inside now for the price you know it's actually rather rather not bad i'm going to jump straight in because it's right at the top here we've got our canopy section now i don't know how well you could pick that up on camera but they are really shiny i mean airfix i do like airfix but their canopies sometimes can be a little bit off so it is really impressive to see how actual shiny this is and you can also see got a couple of different canopy choices there for different versions or, or whatever but wow that is really impressively shiny you probably can't pick it up with a camera but mark one eyeball that is really really shiny uh, which makes a difference actually for for airfix moving along um, i do have a bit of surface detail here just to show you um, just a little bit of a quick wash i haven't put much of a wash on actually because you know, air fixes, recessed panel lines, recessed rivets, normally sort of a bit upscaled a bit too much. Um, you can get away with it, but they are normally quite big, but they do take a wash quite nicely. As you can see, we do have recessed panel lines, recessed rivets, right? Should be a nice bit of detail going on there. Uh, we do have the fuselage section as well. We've got some nice sort of big bolt areas just here where the engine cowl is. And as you can see, some um, pretty sort of nice recessed panel lines. Very, very crisp, but you know, a little bit upscaled, a bit too much. Then we have like a load of different fuel tank versions as well. So we've got the options there. We then come to the cockpit tub as well, which you know is quite a big piece. A um, little bit of detail in there, but the detail is built up. Um, with lots of pieces around it. Moving along with our pieces. We do have all sorts of stuff like flaps and slats and stuff, right? And all sorts of bits of, um, oh, this is quite nice as well. It is, I do like it when, you know, not everybody likes to have the landing gear up, but it can be a bit of a pain putting all those bits of, you know, landing gear doors together to sort of close it up. And it's quite nice when they do something like this, where they just do it as one piece. If you do want to have the landing gear up, we've got propellers as well. We've got the wheel well um, detail as well here, which I do like how, I do like it when they do put in lots of pieces because, you know, we get all this detail around the sides, which will then attach to the bottom part it just you just get more detail um compared to when they did the whole thing in one um and we also get a pilot as well which is a nice little touch right we can see make out eyes mouth nose you know nice bits of detail should make for a nice nice pilot moving along with our pieces here we do have the bottom part of the wing section which has the same level of detail um, admittedly airfix kind of goes a little bit shy with their recess rivets but with this one they do seem to have put a nice few in there we do have our top part of the engine cowl as well which has got those nice big bolts and stuff going on uh wheel well doors along here as well if you want it in the down position all right we flip this over we do have detail this is um i do believe this is like some cockpit detail the side walls um it does look good but it is a little bit of a shame how they have by the looks of it put some nasty ejector pin marks so if we bring you in you can actually see this kit kind of suffers from it a little bit um, we have ejector pin marks just here here and here um, you know and all in sort of like detailed areas and because it's sort of lots of raised and lowered areas to get rid of them would be an absolute pain. I mean, most modelers would probably just leave it as it is and grin and bear it. Even on our wheel well doors just here, we do have ejector pin mark inside there and inside there as well. I'm um, not seeing any on this one, but yeah, there's a few ejector pin marks in some nasty places, but not 
overly bad really um, for the price I suppose moving along we've got some more sort of detail work here we've got lots and lots of different wheels right with different sort of treads different um, hubcaps in there again they're two halves so you know probably sort of rough them up a little bit where you bring them together to sort of you know have rough road wheel, uh, rough wheel uh, rubber wheels we do have some actually quite nice some seat belts and cushion area so really sort of nice and crisp there we do have our instrument display panels as well which does have some nice dials and everything in there we are starting to see a little bit of flash if we come around to this side got a little bit of flash just going on just there uh, but still not too bad should be able to get rid of that pretty easily some different types of exhaust and all sorts of little bits and bobs running along here um, although there was a bit of flash on that um, instrument display panel actually it's not that bad throughout the kit and I wouldn't sort of grumble about that too much then we have another little sprue here with another propeller on here along with some rockets you know not not bad indeed then we come to the decals now the decals they are by cartograph so they're you know up there is one of the best you could probably get so really really good the decals are looking very sort of nice and colorful colorful got a nice sort of glossy satin finish to them we've got our markings which you know we can sort of make out the writing a bit if we bring you in a little bit closer and um, the colors and everything looking registry we do have the decals for the instrument display panels if you want to go down that route but actually looking like they would be really good decals and they should be really by cartograph we've got the actual decal stencil uh, markings just here for both sides right then if we sort of bring you in we have the instructions the instructions shouldn't be um, that bad i mean you know it is a world war ii fighter a little bit of explanation about the aircraft itself moving into the build stage we've got nice colors on here as well which sort of indicates where things are going um, what colors need to be painted you know it shows you where decals need to go you know it does nicely explain um, the way this is going to sort of go together the cockpit comes together and then it looks like the two fuselage halves are then going to come together and we're going to end up with that am i missing a piece yeah and then we're going to um, end up with the usual bring the two halves of the wing section and the wing section and the fuselage comes together we then have all our little bits and bobs like flaps and whatnot in different positions um, look out for maybe different pieces for different markings maybe with this one or is that going to be for another kit yeah it's probably going to be for another kit with the exhausts right maybe a slight little fit issue here just um the bottom part of the engine cowl which then goes on to the wing you know um kind of maybe anticipate maybe a slight little fit issue there maybe right, i'm just kind of going on experience here uh, moving along, lots of little bits and bobs, um, landing gear up or down, uh, we've got a nice array of weapons that we can mess about with, bombs, fuel tanks, rockets, all that good stuff. Uh, we've got a funny picture here as well for his head, uh, not sure what's going on there, maybe they're having a bit of a joke or a laugh. Um, but canopy open closed um i think we've got two different types of propellers we can sort of put on this so maybe do your research on that then we have some markings here which looks like a nice natural metal finish for one set of markings and then we have sadly i mean you know p51s are really sort of well f51s and p51s you know you can get some really sort of nice colors and look quite colorful but we've got two kind of very sort of plane shall we say that could have um, jazzed it up a little bit maybe um oh we do have another set of markings here who's this boy um sweden 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 they've got sort of like a nice one as well so you know it's nice to include the swedes as well all in all you know it does look like a good kit you know for 20 pounds ish not bad sort of a new one we've got some eject parks and eject pin marks in some sort of not so good places the canopies are looking good the decals are fantastic um i wouldn't say it's the best one you could go out there and get in scale um i have just looked at eddard's 148 scale version and that looks pretty sort of 
um, a lot better than this one but then this one is 20 pounds whereas the the ed oiled one's about 30 plus pounds so um, it's kind of up to you i do like the kit and it is recommended um but apart from that you know hopefully you've enjoyed so until next time my name is bob warden this is genesis models and i'll catch you later